The trials of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine have been put on hold. It was seen as a front runner. Now it's on hold. One of the participants in the phase three trial showed an adverse reaction. Does this mean the world has a reason to worry or does the story come with a ray of hope? Our next report answers that. It is a highly anticipated vaccine. It is being touted as the front runner in the vaccine race. But the trials of AstraZeneca's COVID-19 vaccine have been put on hold. This is after a participant showed serious and adverse reactions during the trials. AstraZeneca is developing the vaccine along with the University of Oxford. Phase 3 trials were underway in the US and the UK. They have now been put on hold. The participant suffering from the unexplained illness is expected to recover. The story was first reported by health news website Stat News. It quoted an AstraZeneca spokesperson as saying, Standard review process triggered a pause to vaccination to allow review of safety data. In May, the US ordered 300 million doses of the potential vaccine. Earlier this week, Australia announced it has placed an order for 3.8 million doses with AstraZeneca. As the front runner in the vaccine race puts a hold on the trials, should you mourn the loss of a potential vaccine? Consider this alternative approach. The vaccine race, you see, has become highly political. You have Russian President Vladimir Putin testing the Sputnik V on his daughter. The vaccine for which there is no trial data. Then there is China where Sinovac is injecting its employees and their families with a potential vaccine. Again, a vaccine the world knows very little about. Amidst all of these covert trials, the transparency of one vaccine maker comes as a pleasant surprise. What it tells you is this. There are still some companies that are not totally succumbing to political pressure of winning the vaccine race. There are still some firms that are upholding safety protocols, even as political leaders advocate the bypassing of critical stages of the trial. Just yesterday, nine vaccine makers vowed to not cut corners on testing. They pledged to uphold safety protocols. AstraZeneca was one of the signatories. Others include BioNTech, Moderna, Pfizer, Novavax, Sanofi, GlaxoSmithKline, Johnson & Johnson and Merck. Reacting to the paused trials, Australia's Deputy Chief Medical Officer said the news is a testimony to the safety and transparency. And the fact that we are hearing about it and I'm talking about it uh, is testimony to the safety and the um, transparency, uh, both of which are such critical principles as we uh, continue the race towards an effective um, COVID-19 vaccine. British Health Minister Matt Hancock echoed the sentiments. Well, obviously, I, I, I'd rather this went completely smoothly. Uh, however, we're absolutely clear that safety comes first with the vaccine. So there's been a pause while they investigate uh, an incident. These reactions are not surprising, as both Australia and the UK have stakes in the potential vaccine. The pause trial is a setback, no matter what the British authorities will tell you. The world is in dire need of a vaccine. The Wuhan virus has already claimed over 900,000 lives. But what the world needs is a vaccine that can help save lives, not take more. Bureau Report, we are World is One.